What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the beatmajors.net. Man, so today I want to show y'all how to um how to make an 808. You know what I'm saying? A, a, lot, a lot of people rely on um the 808 Mafia kits and the Metro Boomin kits and the, you know what I'm saying, the insert hottest producer name here kit. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to rely on those kits all the time because, you know, w w with the kits... Um, the first thing that happens is you have to put the, the 808 in tune every single time. You know, you can't just use it and then and 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 keep it moving. You got to, like, go find the key, play it in a certain key, and it messes everything up. That takes time out of your production. So why not have sounds that you created on your own already ready to go in the proper key and everything? So we use FL Studio um, for the most part. So this first one, I'm going to, like, break this up probably and do, like, different parts on, like, well, two different parts on how to make it in with an FL plug-in and then how to make it with a regular, you know, um, wave sound. Basically, just go ahead and go into add do your 3x oscillator or osc if you don't know what osc it stands for oscillator three times oscillator um and this comes up and this is basically like you know this is how you will be making your your 808 um it's gonna be mad simple i don't you guys don't have to get um think this is anything crazy this is gonna be mad simple with the click of a couple buttons will you know what i'm saying get you right so basically once you have the 3x oscillator up here um you're gonna Basically, these are these right here. This is what you want to focus on. Number one, um, these are your oscillator shapes. Um, they all represent different things. So, like for the first one, I hit a key. It goes like this. When I go to this one, it's like that. When I go to this next one, keep going. As you change your shapes, your sound changes as well. Um, so you know. I usually just stick to the simple or I'll go up to, to this one depending on, you know, how I want the 808 to sound when I start it off. So, um, so when you first open it up, that's how it sounds. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can either use it as a, as a bass or you can play the, you know, the different chords or whatever. But, um, once you do that, you know, you're, like I said, you're going to start off in the higher octave. And then you can pitch down and you see how it becomes a bass. So you can use this right here as a live bass. This kind of sounds like a live bass to me, you know, still a square at the end of the day. It's not, you know, an actual pluck, but it kind of gives me, um, an idea for like a live bass. I could go put guitar rig or something like that on it. But anyway, I, I digress. So that's how you make your 808. You throw three X oscillator on there. And you go into the lower octave and then like i said once you change your shapes you see what that sounds like now you're probably wondering that's not an 808 how is where's the 808 going to come in at so basically after you've set it up you know you like your shape or whatever you know you can throw it onto the the mixer and eq it and do things like that but once you're you know you find your shape you go here to your envelope and instrument settings and i usually turn my envelope on and now my attack is turned up so i just turn the attack down which if i if i go back that's what happens right there so you don't want that when you have the attack all the way up like that so now that's 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 what you're getting from there. And then you just turn your release up a little bit. Now, there you have it. You have a simple 808. Now, you can take this a step further. Um you want to make sure your polyphony is turned to 1 um so that it cuts the other notes so you're not as you can see, when I hit a different note, it goes right to that next note. It doesn't, um, you know, sit there and overlap. So you want to just make sure that that's on. Um, it does have the cut itself, but the cut itself doesn't work for VSTs and things like that. You want to go straight to your polyphony. Um, and that's pretty much how you would make an 808. Then, you know, you can take this a step further and put it on the mixer and add like distortion or, you know, guitar rig. If you're a guitar rig person, um, you can add, you know, stuff from the waves, you know, your your plug in bundles, waves bundle, slate bundle, uh, whatever. You can go in there, EQ it 
you know, cut the higher frequencies off and things like that. And then you, you basically have an 808 right there. So, you know, you can go in and you can just keep messing with the attack. And you have a simple 808, you know, and, and if you know how to EQ and things like that, you know, to bring out the bass in it, you know, you know, to kind of cut the higher frequencies out unless you want those in there and, you know, just play around with it. But that's basically how you create an 808 in FL Studio with the 3X oscillator. You go in, you know, you hit your add, add a 3X, find your, uh, you know, your your shape that you like or that you'd like to hear. Um, I usually, like I said, stick to this one. Sometimes I'll use this one. And then just kind of EQ it and it gives it a different feel. Um, and then, you know, you go into your envelope settings, turn your envelope on, turn your attack down and just adjust your release to where, you, you know, you're liking. You know, and then go back, go to the, the miscellaneous functions here and then uh, turn your polyphony up to one. Boom. You have an 808 just like that. Simple. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll make another video on how to do it with like an actual wave file. And then, you know, I'll break it down and then show you guys how to EQ it and, you know, really put that that sauce on it to really basically make it yours so i hope you guys got some value out of this um so go ahead open up your fl now go start making some 808s man and 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 start um you know having that building your sound with your own custom um base so until next time guys definitely check the kits out below at boatloadkits.com I, I know a lot of people have been grabbing those up we greatly appreciate you guys i want to thank all of you who have bought a kit so far um boatloadkits.com loop kits midi kits um sample kits where you know you have the stems and everything so definitely want to appreciate I, I appreciate all you guys i want to thank you guys and until next time like i said peace